Hello, this is Mr. Joe Hassett from Malibu Prep. Uh, for, for, for today we're going to present uh, the uh, rubric for the first question, the long question in 2014 AP macro pre response question. Presenting it from Malibu Prep is Nick Dorkowski. Okay, number one, assume that the United States economy is currently operating below the full employment level of real gross domestic product with a balanced budget. Draw a correctly labeled graph of aggregate demand, short run aggregate supply, and long run aggregate supply, and show each of the following in the United States. Current output and price level, labeled as Y1 and PL1 respectively, and the full employment output, labeled as YF. Part B. The United States government increases spending on goods and services by $100 billion which is financed by borrowing. How will the increase in government spending affect each of the following? Cyclical unemployment and the natural rate of unemployment. So uh, when the US government increases spending, it pushes the economy more towards long run of equilibrium, which reduces cyclical unemployment, but also raises the price level. We're asking about the natural rate of unemployment too. Cyclical unemployment is reduced, right? Correct. What yeah. about the natural rate natural of unemployment? Natural rate of unemployment stays the same because long run equilibrium doesn't, long aggregate supply doesn't increase. Part C. If the marginal propensity to consume is equal to 0.75, calculate the maximum possible change in real gross domestic product that could result from the $100 billion increase in government spending. All right, so to find a multiplier, you have to find MPC or NPS, so it's one minus NPC equals the multiplier. So the multiplier was before, as you see over here from Jeff Hagan, Bucknell University poster. All right, so since government spending increases by 100 billion, you times that by four of the multiplier, and you get an increase in the GDP of 400 billion. Can you show on the graph where that 400 would be? Yeah, so the 400 billion would be uh, Change in real GDP. Why one to? So, so for a hundred billion dollars of spending by the government, this change right here would go four hundred. Okay, so one hundred times the four multiplier, this would change by four hundred. Policymakers, of course, indeed want to know that. So the total increase in government spending is four hundred billion dollars. Okay. Part C. If the marginal propensity to consume, no, no, part D. Use a correctly labeled graph of the floatable fund market. Show the effect of the $100 billion increase in government spending on the real interest rate. So since the government borrowed, it would increase the demand of the floatable fund market. So it would increase the quantity and the price level. What is the price level of the global funds call? It's the interest rate, the cost of borrowing money. So could you draw that arrow showing that the higher there's higher interest rate? Circle that so we can see that there's going to be higher real interest rates now so we can determine. Thank you. Part E. Based on the real interest rate change in Part D, what is the effect on the long run economic growth rate? Explain. So the effect on the long run economic growth rate is since uh, interest rates are increased, um, foreign investment will also increase because they'll have more return on their money. And therefore, what's going to happen to this long run? Therefore, uh, the long run uh, aggregate supply will go Correct. this Correct. way. Correct. And the natural rate of and the natural rate of employment will also increase. Very good. Final part of that. Now assume that instead of financing the $100 billion increase in government spending by borrowing, the United States government increases taxes by $100 billion. With this equal increase in government spending and taxes, will real gross domestic product increase, decrease, or remain the same? Explain. So you think that uh, real GDP will go down in this scenario, but due to the balanced budget multiplier, which is one, you'll actually think that, you would think that the graph would move this way, but it actually moves slightly to the right. So here's how you do it. So government spending increases, times 100 billion that they use, 
times the uh, 100 billion times the multiplier. So it's government spending times the multiplier equals. <coughs> yeah, I'll just cut this part out. No, no, no. 100 times 4. So okay, yeah, so 100 times 4. You're right. Equals 400 billion. Increase in real GDP by the government spending. spending. Very good. Really cheap by the government spending. But since in uh, this scenario they raise taxes as well, so it would be negative 100 billion. Times, uh, Plus, it's disposable income to go down by 100 billion, right? But consumers only spend what? 0.75. So multiply that by 0.75. So multiply this by 0.75, so you'll get. Uh, a decrease in consumer spending of. Consumer spending of 300 billion. Okay, but it's, it's 75 times the floor, right? Yes, yeah, so 75 times the multiple floor. Okay, can you show the net effect now of that balanced budget? Yes, yeah, so the net effect would you uh, you only increase by 100 billion. That completes it, Nick. That completes it, thank you. Good. Well, that's okay. You didn't have it, you got it. You knew what you were doing.